and said it's on a happy occasion, a joyous celebration, like this evening, the start of the 12th South Pacific Games, where you just get a sense that, that rain is not the issue. There's so much happiness, there's so much love, there's so much uh, passion, there's so much expectation out there. Um, it's, it really says it all. The, the rain is, it's, it's not even part of the equation. Now, please welcome the golden champions That's the of emotional Fiji side of it, though, Charlie. I just wonder whether some of the elite athletes the would be just taking South a little Pacific look at the skies here tonight and perhaps um, just deciding maybe to head back we to the village a little the early the and perhaps uh, get home to a, a dry bed just in case uh, uh, things get a little bit out of hand uh, next week, particularly with the uh, competition about to start. Well, I'm certain that the, uh, the various team managers will have all of that well under control. Um, obviously, there is always that fine balance uh, between celebrating the event and competing in the event and wanting to make certain that one's uh, sort of professional uh, skills are absolutely at a peak so that when it's time for your heat or your knockout stage that you can put in what might have to be a performance of a lifetime. Please welcome the golden champions of Fiji, inductees of the Fiji Hall of Fame. Now, if I can explain to you what's happening now, this is the official flag of the South Pacific Games. So it was the flag that was passed Meriwai from Turukawa. Guam Gold to Fiji in, in 1999. At the 1963 and at the close South of these Pacific games, games in 14 days' time, this will be the flag that will be passed to Samoa in anticipation in of their Fiji. hosting of the games in 2007. Gold medals in We've javelin and discus in the eight South Pacific Games. former athletes New South Wales and officials Champion who are holding the corners of this flag. Meriwai Turukawa, who won the first ever gold medal in the South Pacific Games in 1963. Look An excellent competitor, competitor in the Silver field events, the shot put, discus and javelin. In Anna Ramathaki from Tailevu, who won two golds in 1963, two silvers and a bronze, and then in the second games, New Caledonia won two golds and two silvers in 1966. Luke Tunumbuna, who competed in the 1950 British Empire Games, what we now call the Commonwealth Games, and he won silver in the javelin. Multiple gold medalist in athletics, 100 meters, Alipate Korovo is also there. Alipate Korovo, an outstanding boxer. He won silver in the 66 games and then won gold in the light middleweight competition in 69. And boxing fans might know he turned professional and ended up as the Australian and Commonwealth middleweight champion in the 1970s and also a huge... Um, benefit to Fiji sport in his subsequent career as a masseur to many national teams. Marionia Vembosse is there. She competed in games from 1969 to 1991, winning a total of nine medals, three golds, six games she competed in. And the final member of the Sports Hall of Fame, Pio Bosco Tikoisuva, who's claim to fame is that on this surface, when it was known as Buckhurst Park in 1977, he was the, the captain Fiji of the Fiji team that beat the British Lions 25-21. And two other members who are honoured here for their unique contributions to sport in Fiji, Hector Hatch, who was Fiji's first ever Olympian, competing in the 1956 Olympic Games in Melbourne, and uh, a long time president of the Fiji Amateur Boxing Association and was effectively called out of retirement to run the boxing competition. So he will certainly have a very active role in the South Pacific Games. And the, uh, the final name on my list, but certainly by no means the least name, Sophia Raddock, a huge figure in sport in the Pacific, not least because she was really the first prominent lady official and Sophia Raddick is honoured being one of the flag bearers. 
It's a wonderful array of uh, sporting talent and sporting memories there, Charles, as we enjoy this um, South Pacific Games opening ceremony. Shots there of the naval contingent. You've enjoyed the music from the RM RFMF band. This is the contribution from Fiji's Navy. 300 members of the Navy across seven ships and uh, some very intense competition. They've boiled it down to just 10 members here. We're looking at the junior sailors who are processing in front of the VIP Tribune and they will be following the flag bearers around the circuit that they are doing of the National Stadium. Fiji has a very interesting circumstance, which is the, the Navy is uh, very much the junior military service, but the commander of the overall military forces is actually a naval officer, Commodore Frank Bainimarama. So you can imagine that in front of this audience, the naval representatives will be under no illusions about the performance that they have to offer to their commanding officer tonight. And they will certainly have been up in the early hours polishing boots and iron increases. Pictures of the opening ceremony of the South Pacific Games. The night has only just begun here in Suva. We have a huge evening to look forward to. Ceremonial occasion plus entertainment as well. And just a quick note for our viewers through Fiji One. You'll be leaving us shortly to take your national news. But please join us again here at the National Stadium in Suva for the opening ceremony of the South Pacific Games. The Pacific at its best.
We now call on the Reverend Apimelek Ingilio, President of the Fiji Council of Churches, and himself, a well-known sportsperson, javelin champion at the 1963 South Pacific Games, and the golden basketball medalist in the 1971 South Pacific Games, to say a few words of prayer to bless our games. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Let us bow our heads in prayer. <clears throat> God of the universe and of all occasions, we gather here today united as people of the Pacific from different island nations, different cultures, different religions, with different languages to praise you and thank you for your providence and abundant love because all peoples, cultures and nations are your gift. We thank you for your presence in your world, especially here in the Pacific, for your spirit of love and unity with which we gather to celebrate and commend you Yep. Where's the prick? Where's the prick coming on this? Where's the what? What did you say? Where does the prick come in? Prick? No, it's not on here. Mm. This must be between 5:30 and 5:36. Just uh, just threw something in there. Spectators, visitors, and those others who contributed is known to you alone. God of all humanity, grant to all who participate in these games your bounteous wisdom and truth in times of doubt, your strength when they are weary, your love and goodwill when they feel helpless and experience defeat. Your spirit of good sportsmanship and fairness when times are hard, so that they may know the depth of your eternal presence as they strive to achieve excellence for your honor and glory. God of our families and homes, we pray for the assurance of your presence for the families who are left behind. Give them peace and encouragement as they eagerly await news of loved ones who are here with us today. God of all celebration, we pray for those who have instrumental in the lead up to these games. Thank you for your wisdom and encouragement as they tirelessly gave of themselves to ensure that celebration of the 12 South Pacific game be pleasing to you. Bless them abundantly as they continue to serve you. We pray this prayer in and through your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, world without end. Amen. Thank you very much to the Reverend Apimelek Ingilio, President of the Fiji Council of Churches. We now call on the Oaths Marshal to marshal the flag bearers for the Athletes' Oath.
As soon as the flag bearers are in order, the oath will be taken by a representative of Team Fiji, and that will be followed by the judge's oath. We now call on Unaisi Rokoura, the captain of Netball Fiji, who will make the athlete's oath on behalf of all competitors to the 2003 South Pacific Games. Le serment de l'athlète sera prononcé par Unaisi Rokoura pour tous les compétiteurs. Declare that we will take part in the South Pacific Games 2003 in the spirit of sportsmanship, recognizing the rules that govern them and desirous of participating in them for the honors of our countries and the glory of sport. The Emily's oath, as stated by Unaisi Rokora of Fiji. And now, the judge's oath will be made on behalf of all officials by Wuliwanga of Fiji. And Fiji One, welcome back to us at the National Stadium for continuing coverage of the opening ceremony. The ceremonial games flag is flying high. We've seen the athletes' oath. Also, prayers have been taken. And now, we Charles Moore. We will take part this is Wuli Wanga, a very popular athletes' official, taking the oaths on behalf of the judges. The and forcing them in the true spirit of sportsmanship. And that would definitely have been a very popular choice to take the oath on behalf of the judges. Fuli Wanga is really the central figure Thank in secondary school much. athletics for the last Thank 20 you. years. He's also the secretary of athletics yeah. Fiji. And just before Fuli took the oath, Unaisi Rokoura took the oath on behalf of the athletes. She, of course, the current captain of uh, the Fijian netball team. She was the vice captain of the team that came sixth in the world championships a couple of years ago. And she certainly a very, very good choice, a very serious, very noble competitor, and a lot of expectations, obviously, on the netball team here in their home venue. And just about to take the dais will be the chair of the South Pacific Games Organizing Committee, Dr. Robin Mitchell, who, of course, has done so much to see that this uh, epic day be realized here in Fiji. The President of the Republic of Fiji, Dr. Sosepo, Yeloyelo Uyunda, and Andy Kavu. The Vice President of the Republic of Fiji, Ratu Chope Seniloli and Andi Varanisese. The Honorable Prime Minister, Laisani Angarase and Mrs. Lem Angarase. Mr. Ricardo Blas, President of the South Pacific Games Council. 